Hi everyone. Uh, we're going to start a new unit. Just going to open this for you so you can see it. Okay, so we are going to start a new research poster at home um, because research posters are a lot easier for you to do at home. And then when you come into class, we can do the parts with the painting and I can give you help with that. So we're looking at artist Shepard Ferry. Um, some of you may uh, recognize this label here, Obey. He is the guy that created that brand. And he's also the guy that created the Hope poster for um, the Obama campaign. So he's really pretty well known. Um, you probably know his work. It's very cool, it's very graphic. He has been creating street art for many, many years. And so we are going to create an artwork that is inspired and shows an understanding of his work through color, composition, and design. So here are some of his artwork. As you can see, it's very graphic. Uh, he uses stencils. He uses a lot of patterns. He repeats images, okay? So his logo, Obey, is actually, when he uses the word Obey, it's all about advertising, it's about street art, it's about um, repeating images um, so that people start to recognize uh, the images and branding. He often uses his a lot of repetition with his symbols. So we've got this star here with Andre the Giant uh, looking at us. Andre the Giant was a wrestler. And so he's taken that image and um, now he's made it his own. So that's called appropriation, taking images from other uh, cultures or genres and changing them or using them as your own. He uses a lot of, uh, he makes, creates a lot of artwork that looks like old propaganda um, posters, all right, from the 19 sort of 40s, 50s. Um, they've got that sort of style to them. Once again, here we go. We've got Andre the Giant, eyes and the star. Okay, so he repeats images, imagery so that... Um, he has a theme or a style so that when you look at, um, if you were to see one of his artworks on the street, you would be able to recognize it as his own. He often uses this, a similar color scheme, a lot of red, black, and white, okay, and a lot of the similar patterns and a lot of the same kind of fonts and typography. This one here, it's got a very, very... Um, communist sort of poster style to it from the 19 sort of 40s 50s art deco style uh, this looks like it's a woodcut or an engraving same here he's using that woodcut effect with wood printing okay where you've cut away at it once again he's got the star the eyes of andre the giant he's got the same flower pattern happening here as he did in the other artwork Sorry, I, have, I thought that was going to go back, but it didn't. Okay, another famous artwork, the American flag, the lady with the hijab. We've got patterns being repeated here, some geometry patterns here, text. So you're going to create a research poster. It's worth 100 points, a summative grade. Then you're going to create an image using a famous person in the style of the Obey image. You're going to plan and create your own artwork, demonstrating an understanding of his artwork through color schemes, pattern, symbolism, logos, and design. And then you're going to create a poster that expresses your views or feelings of the current pandemic. Here is a YouTube video, so I want you to watch this video about him. And then you're going to make your research poster. You are going to do half of the poster this week. You're going to um, make a heading with his name. Please use da font. If 
uh, to trace your letters. I expect uh, you to use an interesting font that maybe reflects his style, and you're going to use colors that he uses, so you may use red, black, and white, um, and try and uh, show that you understand his artwork through the font you choose and through the color you choose. Make sure you color it in really neatly, and please use coloring in pencils. Underneath it, you're going to write three to four sentences about him, his biography. You will understand that once you've watched the video about him. You're going to answer these questions underneath in the area. And then you're going to do this part. In the rectangles, you're going to sketch out five logos, motifs or patterns that are often used in his work. All right, you are not doing number five this week. You are only doing one, two, three, and four. The layout for the page is here. Remember, when we measure, we measure five centimeters, we put a little mark there. We measure five centimeters, we put a little mark there. We roll it across, and then we Use da font, or if you want to do it by hand, you can, but remember it needs to be of a good standard. The biography is in here. Measure 13 centimeters down, a little mark here. Measure 13 centimeters down from here. Okay, roll it across. Biography here, write nice and small, and your answers here. You'll need to write quite small there. You're then going to do this part here. Nine centimeters down here nine centimeters down here, divide this up into five. I think that it's about 30 centimeters across your A3 page, so they're probably gonna be six centimeters for each one. So you'll measure along here, six, 12, 18, 24, 30. You'll measure along here, six, 12, 18, 24, 30, and you'll measure them up so that it is neat. You are not doing this this week, okay? You are only doing, watching the video, doing the title, doing the biography, the answers, and the, this part. I'm gonna show you what this part looks like next. The assessment, you're assessed on your font design, your presentation, the care that you take to, to, took to draw the images neatly, you may trace them, you should trace them, unless you're really good at, confident at drawing, and they should be in the same style as the artist. You're analyzing, describing the artwork in your own words. Please see the rubric, it's at the end, if you want to understand that more. Here is an example of what a poster could look like. Really great font, information, answered the questions, here are the motifs or logos, all right? These ones here are also examples. The final ones here are going to be in large, lar larger pieces of his work. So what you might do is you might look at his artwork and you might do small drawings of his work. So this is the five here. I'm just gonna go out of this. If we go back to his artwork, you might zoom in, you might zoom in on this part and draw this part. You might, um, let me have a look, you might draw a small part of his patterns. You might draw this L part. You might draw her face. So you're going to zoom in or crop. Okay, you're going to crop an image. It's almost like Nick Phillipson as well. Don't do whole big parts because these are just very small sections. All right, so just keep it simple. Color them in really nice and neatly. You have got three lessons all week to do this next week. It's going to be due Saturday night at 11.59 at night p.m., okay? We'll talk about this in class. So if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you. Bye.